New at 10, keeping green country warm this bitterly cold winter season. How a local woman is threading kindness into our community. Plus, wicked winter weather slamming the southeast. How people there are dealing with the impact. I'm Karen Larson. I'm Brian Sanders. You're watching Two Works for You at 10. Hey. It's just something I do. I put in a Christmas movie lately and just sit down and knit. Two Works For You's Warming Hearts and Hands campaign just received a handmade boost. Mm. Rhonda Tarboletti of Bartlesville drove down to our Brookside studio today to donate 25 of her hand-knitted hats. No two are the same either. It has put a very personal touch on our effort to help the less fortunate through an unbearable winter. Green Country's freezing temperatures are no match for its giving spirit. The wealth of donations so far to our Warming Hearts and Hands drive Highlighted Wednesday by 25 hand-knitted hats. I actually started knitting when I was about 12, so I've been knitting for a long time. And I've taught some people how to, other people how to knit. Rhonda Tarabaletti began using her talents for the greater good 10 years ago, sending the colorful one-of-a-kind gifts to World Vision, an organization helping children in poverty overseas. And when I received the thank you that they received my items in November, they said that they had had 100,000 items donated so far this year, so I was like, that is so cool, you know. So, but I thought, if there's a need for them locally, well, I can do that too. As a longtime teacher in both Illinois and Independence, Kansas, she's seen the need for winter clothes firsthand. You know, I've had kids come in that didn't really have warm clothes, and you know, you're like, okay, why are you running around in January in shorts and a t-shirt? She says each hat takes two hours to make, times 25 is a full week's work, but she can take comfort now knowing her work is woven into our community as a visible symbol of kindness. And 